Lent has already begun, and so we're going to talk to Bishop Tomazio today about this sacred season of the year. Bishop, it's Lent time again. Here we go. Why do we have Lent year after year <laughs> after year? <laughs> well, we have Easter every year, and that this is a preparation for Easter. That's what the whole purpose of Lent is, to celebrate the Paschal mystery, to enter into uh, the, the life-saving death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's why we have Lent. Mm -hmm. uh, it begins with ashes on Ash Wednesday. Ashes on Ash what, Ash what, Wednesday. Do, do people understand what that symbol of ashes means? Well, I don't know if they understand it, but they seem to like it. Even mm. people who don't go to church all the time come for those ashes. A lot of crowds come throughout well, the day, right? There's yeah. a basic realization on, for most people that life is limited. Ashes are a symbol of death, mm -hmm. uh, a reminder that we have to, to do better to avoid uh, ultimate death, which is uh, which is which is sin, or losing God's grace, so that we do not have an eternal life in heaven. Yeah, you know, years ago the Lenten regulations, so to speak, used to be a lot stricter than they are today. They are. They Fasting are. and abstinence today, we're really asked to do the minimum. I mean, uh, what well, you think we're that's asked to do the minimum? But we hope that people do the more than the minimum. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been relaxed. It was rather difficult in the past. Sure. Uh, I remember the calendar with the fishes and the half fish, and uh, <laughs> so you know what, what was today, what you're doing. Uh, maybe that was too strict, but now uh, people have an opportunity uh, to pray, to, to fast, and to give alms, a variety of things that are all part of the, the Lenten season. Fasting is a great tradition within Christianity and other religions too. Mm -hmm. uh, fasting is not just that we deny ourselves something, but that we're opening ourselves up more to God because mm -hmm. of that denial, because of what we say we're not going to do. Yeah. We're doing that because we want to reach God in some way. We want mm -hmm. to have that ability to control ourselves, control our, 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 our worst uh, passions at times so that we can find God in our lives. Yeah. When we talk about abstinence, sometimes people say, well, I'd rather eat fish than meat anyway. <laughs> Isn't it more of a discipline than it's a It's a penis? discipline. It's not just fish or meat. Uh, and uh, I guess it's uh, what you like, to, mm -hmm. to give up to what you like. The Holy Father in his message this year, in fact, uh, brings that out. You know, it's a question of discipline to give up what we like so that sometimes what we don't like will be part of our penance. Mm -hmm. The whole idea of uh, penance and giving things up doesn't, it seems to be countercultural. It doesn't seem to be very popular well, in our culture these well, days. Well, again, yeah. I'm sure that's it's probably always been the case, but uh, uh, in our culture today where there's so much uh, emphasis on happiness and personal freedom and uh, it's overemphasized. So this, this brings us back to reality a bit that there is a certain discipline of life that mm -hmm. If we practice that discipline, it does put us in contact with the divine. Mm -hmm. What would you like to see parishes do, like run special programs for well, Lent? What can they do? Well, this year we're, we're is, uh, uh, asking the parishes to do 40 days for life in light of the terrible new abortion law that's been passed in our, con our state. We want people to concentrate on life issues, maybe the fast for life, pray for, for those who are helping, uh, show up and pray at abortion uh, clinics with the groups that are already doing this. Um, so give alms to those people that are helping uh, pregnant women that don't know what to do. So this is our, one of the emphasis we're giving this year. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're, Lent is already underway and it, it's begun, but maybe some people have not begun with their uh, sacrifices yet and their mm -hmm. penance. What do you say to people, you know, who maybe, oh, it's, a, it's already a week into it. Uh, well, there's always can begin again, <laughs> no starter. <laughs> you, no, no, late comers are welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's never too late to start your Lent, your time of uh, prayer, fasting, and, and almsgiving. Mm -hmm. You could always do it to find what is in your life is something that will make uh, make sense to you, have meaning to it. Uh, that's what we're asking people to do. Good. Bishop, have a good Lent yourself. Thank and, uh, you.